I'm gonna be going over one of my best trading systems for 2025, a copper trading system. And we're also gonna be highlighting a specific trade that was a little bit lucky for me. There is a little bit of luck involved when it comes to quantitative trading, just because there's news events, there's things you can't factor in with your models. You do wanna do your best to model everything and have as much data as possible to make a decision if you're gonna trade that trading system or not, and if you're gonna add it to your live portfolio. But at the end of the day, there is always a little bit of luck involved. You wanna try and create your own luck using math and probabilities. Before we get started, hello, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build, code, and trade live trading systems on the futures market to make a return for myself. If you wanna work with me, see the links in the description below. So let's go over this trading system. Uh, this is a copper trading system that we've been trading since uh, the beginning of 2025 live. So if we actually look at the year-to-date performance, so if I do yearly, uh, this is NinjaTrader, the platform that we run the trading system on. So for the year, the system is up based on one futures contract, uh, copper. It's up around 22,000. On a percentage basis for us, personally, it's up over 6% using the capital allocated towards it. I trade static contracts for all my trading systems. Uh, so up for the year, which is great and performing very, very well. Um, so that, that's really great to see. Not all trading systems do this well. Some of them lose money, some of them you know, are flat, but this one has been doing exceptionally well. Uh, it actually makes a lot more money on the long side, which is probably the reason why it's up this year is copper is up quite a bit. Copper has been up for the last two to three years, actually. It's still profitable on the, on the short side at 21,000, uh, but over the whole, uh, over the whole back test, uh, most of the profits are from the long side. Has a 50% uh, win rate, uh, which doesn't really matter that much. Average trade, it makes, makes $276. That's more important. So that's based on one contract. Uh, it has a profit target and stop loss. I'm not going to go over the code as this strategy, you know, I don't share all my strategies uh, just because if I shared all my strategies, I'd have no edge, but uh, won't be going over the service code for that. Okay, so there's a particular trade I want to look at and this is one of the benefits of having a, a profit target with any trading system. This was back July 30th, 31st, 2025. There was uh, a news event on copper tariffs, I believe, and there was new tariffs launched. And we actually had a, so we were long on this trade here. Uh, this is a swing trading system, so it holds for multiple days. It has a $2,500 profit target per contract and I believe a $2,000 per contract stop. So it could hold as long as it wants, as, as long as one of those targets hit. But as you can see, we were long. Let me try and zoom in a bit for you guys. Zoom in. Where was it? There it is. Okay, so we were long uh, July 28th, actually. 5.6915 was our entry. And the news event came here. We can see huge volatility on copper here, it pumps up uh, about around 30 ticks from opening around 5.65 to hitting a high of 5.9 and we hit a profit target during the middle of that and then boom, instantly dumps down uh, a full point on copper, which is quite a bit. So we were able to take advantage of that profit target and exit. And these are the types of events where I mean, in your back test and your in and out of sample testing, maybe there was tariff events for copper in the past, but these types of events are very sudden and they're not common. That's the big thing. They're not very common. So maybe in my back testing, I was able to account for a couple of these patterns. I'm not sure. I think there was definitely some luck involved with this specific trade at the end of the day. And what matters is the long run, right? How's the system done for the year? As I showed you guys, it is up for the year. So that's, that's really what matters. But because I had a profit target on this trading system, what I'm trying to tell you is I was able to exit and get out before this dump. Imagine I was long. I mean, my stop loss definitely would have triggered here uh, for sure. And uh, a lot of volatility on copper. So if you were long and holding through that, you know, that would have been uh, a big loss or painful loss. Um, and I don't think it's recovered from that high uh, for the year. Right now, copper is around 4.6. So that is the benefit of a profit target. You know, profit targets will will hinder your, your upside for sure. Because you know uh, there's gonna be days or, or periods of time where copper continues to make new highs and you don't wanna get out. You wanna be holding for those multiple days and a profit target's gonna kind of hold you back with that. In this case, the profit target did work out well and you know the system is up for the year. So obviously you know having that profit target and stop loss 
has been beneficial. And also maybe it, it could be the entry as well. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of, uh, pros and cons. There's no best exit. At the end of the day, you got to test and see what's right for you. See what fits your risk profile and your capital requirements at the end of the day. And that could be systems with profit targets or stop losses, or it could be systems that exit after, you know, X amount of time or X amount of bars or, you know, systems that exit based on an indicator. Those are all options for your automated trading systems to exit. Personally, for this copper trading system, we use profit target and stop loss, and that's been performing well. So anyways, that is definitely uh, luck on our side a little bit on that. But in the long run, the math will play out. And if you build good trading systems, then you have systems that, you know, make money over uh, multiple periods of time and, and years. Uh, one thing I do want to say too, before I finish is when you generate these performance reports on NinjaTrader, right? Obviously they're going to look great because you back tested and cherry pick really good strategies. Back tests are always the best case scenario. You're never really going to match the back test or exceed it very rarely, right? I can tell you maybe two systems that I've de developed in my career that have matched the back test or done better. And most of the time they do worse. You know, they do anywhere from 20 to 40% worse than the back test. Now that doesn't mean they're not profitable. They can still be very profitable. It's just that they're not doing as well as the back test. So keep that in mind when you're generating and trying to forecast these results based on back tests. Um, you're usually never going to reach that, that goal just because there's a lot of new data coming in every day, a lot of randomness, a lot of noise as well. And, you know, new political news events that are causing, you know, instrument prices to move in ways that haven't been accounted for, which, you know, that trade that I just showed you could have been one of those, those moves. So anyways, uh, in conclusion, you know, with trading systems, there's a little bit of luck involved in the long run, your math should play out and those patterns and probabilities should work to your favor and show P and L in your account. But in the short term, there's going to be some random randomness involved, which is, you know, a slew of, of news events and, and randomness and noise. So, uh, yeah, one of the benefits of having a profit target, you know, times like that where a, an asset price dumps and you're able to get out uh, just before it dumps is a plus. Uh, but it's not always right for you and you have to test all your trading systems. So anyways, hope you found value in this video below. Uh, in the comments below, sorry, let me know if you use profit targets or stop losses with your trading systems. Personally, I like stop losses for all of my systems, but I won't always use a profit target. I have a lot of systems that exit based uh, a certain amount of time. So a certain amount of uh, bars have passed or exit based on some type of indicator signal like RSI crossing above 70, for example. Uh, so profit targets are not, not on all my systems, but I do like stop losses on all my systems just so I have that peace of mind in case I'm wrong in that trade in that bet. But yeah, let me know if you use profit targets and stop losses. And let me know if you're trading copper and how, and how that's doing because copper has been, metals in general have been on a, a crazy run this year. Anyways, that's the video. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye, guys.